of property and lives due to tornadoes, hurricanes, and blizzards. And the psychological effects this has on people can really take a heavy toll. Yeah, and live with us right now to talk in depth about the post-disaster effects is clinical psychologist Dr. Josh Claypo. Dr. Claypo, thank you for joining us and being here tonight. Thank you, my pleasure. Well, let's just jump right in here. What do survivors typically experience after kind of a life-altering disaster? A whole host of things. And I think that's the hardest part is, you know, you may feel absolutely grateful that you made it through, but everything from feeling emotionally numb to feeling sad and depressed uh, to having problems with memory and concentration, uh, sleep problems, even physical problems physical problems, stomach aches, headaches, all of the stress sort of responses, because the brain, our brains are trying to put together what has just happened to me and where do I go from here? And it can be very debilitating. It can be overwhelming. I mean, people spend a lifetime building their lives and in seconds, it can all be destroyed. And especially if there's loss of life, it's a lot to take in. So for anybody who has been up against something like this, what is the advice uh, to get through it all? Uh, you know, this sounds overly simplistic, but I always tell people, give yourself permission or grace to feel out of sorts. Because a lot of people, they, they, it catches them off guard and they keep trying not to feel bad. But part of that feeling bad is your brain processing what's happened. So it's okay not to be on your game afterwards, number one. Number two, if you feel like talking about your feelings and you feel like sharing, it's important to, but don't feel that you have to or don't let anyone try to force you because that's not psychologically healthy. Um, you have to pay attention to your physical health because stress makes you tired, it dehydrates you, uh, it gives you fatigue. So really keeping your body uh, up physically is important. And then I think the other two things which are probably the most important you got to try to establish some sort of new routine, even if it's temporary. Uh, it may be taking a daily walk. It may be trying to file insurance papers, those kinds of things. And the last one is you got to re-evaluate uh, your expectations for success. So, you know, if you made it through the day, if you filed some insurance papers, if you connected with a loved one, that's how you're going to build yourself back. It's not going to all happen at once. And if you can make that shift, you're going to do a lot better. How can we help people that we may know that have survived a storm and are still kind of trying to, to see, the, uh, see the other side of, of the scenario there? This is a great question, and a lot of us feel so helpless. You know, what can we do? There's three really basic things you can do. It's called psychological first aid. Number one, make sure that people have their physical needs. Make sure they've got food and shelter and clothing, because not only is that important physically, but it helps reduce psychological stress. It's basically one less thing to worry about. The second thing is make sure that you're there just to listen to them. Sometimes people just want people to be by them and not do anything, but have a physical presence. And then the third is make sure that they're connected, family, friends, community. We're social beings. We need to feel connected. You do those three things, not only are you helping them physically, but you're going to help them psychologically as well. And I just love anytime we can talk about mental health as you rebuild your home and your family, also making sure that your brain and your emotions are also in check and okay. And I love your advice. Lean into it. Feel it. I always call it releasing the valve, Dr. Glebo. You know, anytime you go through something like that. So thank you for lending that advice tonight. My pleasure. Thank you. Excellent. All right. Well, let's, um, let's switch gears here. Take a quick look at...